Okay. This one should be an A5, if I'm correct. So we're just going to put it on A5. We're keeping that standard. And I wonder what background colour we give it. I'm going to give it blue this time. I'm going to go here. I'm going to do it, not going to put the hue in. Ah, oh, what have we done? We just blipped ourselves out. Okay, so what are we going to do? We're going to enlarge it. So I'm wondering if we can try something. Let me have a look. We're going to, we can use auto enlargement when we combine this paper size with the original setting. So yeah, so basically A5 is the original setting and the paper tray is A4. So A5 to A4 is 141.4%. So there you go, some simple math even for a person who was no good at math while at school. And we have here Creator Academy to do with robotics and coding and all that shit, all that cool stuff. I can't do it because I've I've got really poor mathematics. I did badly at school. It's a bit smaller than an A5 here, but this will do. But basically I've got a disability or disabilities. I've had a brain trauma as a baby or had a birth trauma. I was I was I came out of breach and I had a cord around my neck and I believe it caused anoxia which means no oxygen I was virtually dead and a couple parts of the brain that I'm almost certain or quite close to certain have failed because of it was my short term memory and the hippocampus which converts short term memories into long term memories the problem is I can't learn so I have trouble with learning and all this sort of shit but I do, but this looks really good but I haven't got a dream of, of there someday being technology to do with robotics, but not robotics, to do with artificial intelligence or quantum computers to help repair the brain damage with brain implants. So that'd be that's a dream for the future I'm looking forward to. So I'm not going to call, call it quits. I'm not going to condemn my life to being on Centrelink forever or working in a sheltered workshop. One day I'll be doing this sort of shit. One day I'll be programming and doing science and running a big company a company that builds artificially intelligent photocopiers. So I look forward to a bright future. I just got to get through this time period. Anyway, got to go.